Okay. Hi, everybody. I'm Susie. Welcome to my kitchen in East London, which is an improvised studio. And um, I don't unfortunately have a doll, but I'm going to be painting the dog of my dreams, the Welsh Terrier. Um, and I'm going to try and do three pictures, two of the Welsh Terrier and two of something else. And since um, time is short, I'm going to give it straight away. Um, and I'm going to angle the computer down here so that you can see my paper. And um, what I do is quite simple. And I find that simplifying, simplifying the, the dog into basic shapes and tones and lines is helpful. Um, how much detail you put in is up to you. But I'm gonna get going with, um, with this Welsh Terrier. So um, a lot of my work's about light. And in this case, um, as you may be able to see, the, there's quite a strong contrast between the lightest tone and the dark. And so, I'm painting a basic background color, this movie um, sofa, and just using a bit of cobalt blue and red. I haven't got many colors. I've got about five for this one. Um, cobalt blue, red, Payne's gray, um, white and orange. So I'm painting around the shape of, of the terrier. And having kitchen roll is quite handy to flatten things out, if that's a good idea. I quite like that, um, to make these flat shapes. So now I've got a basic um, tone up surrounding the, the dog. And then with the orange, because the dog is quite an orangey color. Um, and I kind of exaggerate, maybe intensify the color a bit. And I'm going to just draw in his orange, her orange shape. And as I said before, I'm, I tend to simplify things down into fairly basic shapes. So <clears throat> we've got We've got the basic shape there of the terrier. Um, and then I'm going to uh, make the darker tone, um, which you can see here, um, of the sofa. So washing the brushes, I've got about three simple brushes. I keep things as simple as possible. Things are difficult enough in art without making more trouble. So behind the, <clears throat> behind the uh, head, there's these um, shapes of darker tones. And I'm leaving some of the paper light, as you can see, because the paper is the brightest thing. And if I want bright light, which I do, I will use the white of the paper. So I don't want to make you make it look apparent, but um, she has a dog with quite a lot of shadow around it and the shadow of, of its head coming down like that. So I've got the basic, uh, basic shapes in round it. And then I'm gonna put a bit of burnt orange here um, because I like to use a combination of lines and, um, and shapes to give it contrast. And then I'm going to make some, some light and, and tone on the, on the body. <clears throat>
using a different brush for detail. A bit of darker tone for the um, for where it's against for where the dog is against the light. So that's what we've got so far. Um, and then we need a bit of definition. So some Payne's gray, um, it's a useful color, bluey black for the eyes and the nose, maybe some claws like that. And um, I've also got some pastel here, which is, which is handy to make some fur, some definition on the fur. And then maybe we'd like, um, I'd like a tongue. So some white and some red, as you'd expect, a pinky tongue. Red. Okay, so that's where we are so far. I don't know if that's visible or not. Um, and I think a few lines can maybe down here to suggest the shape of the sofa. Um, and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna put this where I can see it away from the computer. I need more I need more tone on the beard. Yeah. And it's up to you, as I said, how much detail you want to put in. Um, as I say, I keep things fairly minimal, but you may want to add a lot of marks and um, definition of, of the fur and so on. Okay, um, I'm gonna move on to the next drawing. I don't know if you can see that. And the next drawing is another Welsh Terrier. We've got 20 minutes, you see, this is why I'm going like the wind. <laughs> um, and this is a square one. The Welsh Terrier outside instead of inside. And um, I hope you can see that. I'm not quite sure what, what you can see and what you can't see. But there we are. Uh, <laughs> so in the last drawing, I used the white paper to make light, to make um, the lightest tone. And now I'm doing another thing which I quite like doing, which is covering all the paper with, um, with, a, with, a, with a color to make a kind of unity, a ground, as they say, making a ground under the whole picture, which can sometimes create this uh, harmony. So this is what I'm doing here. And um, in addition to the colors I was using for the other dog, I'm using a yellow ochre. Actually not in addition, I'm not gonna use all the um, brighter oranges. But... So there's the, the blue ground and I'm gonna make it flat with my very useful kitchen roll. Maybe a bit bluer actually. Bit more blue. <clears throat> and then uh, a sort of lightish, palish ochre on the ground. You see, this is uh, my mother. Wish I had my own terrier, but I'd have to give up painting to look after it, I think. So, <clears throat> The basic, the basis of the landscape, it's a small well, seascape, I suppose. Um, and then going back to the yellow ochre, it's very limited colors in this, which I quite like making a picture of limited colors. And then I'm doing the, the head and, and the body, obviously. Uh, 
and breaking it down, which I find helpful into basic tones, often dark light and a mid-tone. And again, I'm keen on, I'm always attracted to light and dark contrast. So here the dog is turned away from the light, but you get, you get a sort of fringe of light around his, his head. So this is where I'm, I've got to now. And then <clears throat> um, I'm going to use that burnt orange color <clears throat> where it's turned away from the light. So I'm making the dark tones <clears throat> away from the light with this, um, this dark orange, treacly kind of caramel color. And paint spray again with the darkness of the coat. And the eyes that are hidden in there with all that fur and uh, the nose getting there. <clears throat> And then he's got his mouth open again, so a pink tongue. And then perhaps um, you can use anything to make a mark, the end of the brush, the rag, your finger, anything, um, if it works. And maybe a bit of, um, a bit of pasta. So this is, um, an ochre pasta. And so I'm going to just make some light. Good if this would dry, but it's not no time for that. Um, make some lighter marks, lines, contrast between lines and shapes again. Uh, so make that with the yellow ochre pasta. I'm just removing it for a sec to have a see how we're going. That means need to be more contrast in the front of the tone. Okay, this is where we're at now. Um, there's a bit of light in the eyes, so just a few, whoops, too much. Lots of white there. And another dot of white on the nose. Right. Okay. And the body, the shape of the body is not right, it should be more like that. Since the chalk isn't, um, it's not really dry enough to use the chalk, um, needs to be on a dry surface. I'm just going to make a bit more fur with uh, a whitey ochre. He's got this great bushy beard. Uh, 
Okay, and then if you felt like it, of course, you could add the lead, which is a quite a nice um, yellow. Let's give it a go. The chalk. Whoops. Right, I'm now five minutes from my end point. So I'm going to, because this was going to be a drawing and painting um, experiment. I'm going to do a charcoal drawing. So those are two quick drawings trying to emphasize the basic simple um, shapes and tones and colors of the picture. So now there's this dog, I don't know what it is, what breed, but I'm going to do a charcoal drawing of it. And <clears throat> I'm gonna do it again in a fairly simple way by putting charcoal all over the paper to make it sort of ground, a bit like the blue paint, but obviously this is monochrome. You make a um, make a charcoal surface. Bit more perhaps. And then I'm going to take a rubber to, to draw to draw the shape of the dog. I mean you could obviously do a line drawing or you could treat it in any other ways, but this is just one idea. So rubbing the white and then the white of the legs, the white of the body. So it's basically three tones, the background, which is a sort of mid-tone, the white of the head, and then the black coat, and then some definition. Through the um, through these lines, this is what I'm I'm doing. <clears throat> Right, and then a bit of maybe some line to suggest what the dog is sitting on, the carpet. Um, where I'm at. Okay, we're nearly there. So there's a few ideas, one using the paint, white of the paper, one using a colored ground, one using a charcoal ground, but in each case, trying to, um, trying to simplify into light and dark um, 
and the basic shapes. Um, I can refine these and go, go on working on them. But obviously this is this is a quick um, quick session. And um, I hope it's been useful. Um, I don't know if there's any questions or or conversation possible. I'm talking into a void, but anyway, I hope it's been helpful.